seen an object pass by our planet that was unlike anything astronomers had ever seen. It was captured by a telescope in Hawaii. It moved too fast for it to come from our solar system. It had an unusual orbit and it didn't look like an asteroid or comet. And that led a Harvard professor to hypothesize that this thing was alien, perhaps from a faraway civilization. Avi Loeb is an astrophysicist who's been teaching at Harvard since 1993 and chaired its astronomy department for nine years. He has a new book, Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth. He joins us now. Avi, thanks for being with Good us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I, it's so fascinating, I think, when they hear a Harvard professor says the aliens visited the planet and everyone's always like, where's the science, where's the proof? Do you have that? Yeah, well, it's a, a very anomalous object, very peculiar, sort of like walking on the beach. Most of the time you see seashells or rocks that are naturally produced. And in the past, we have seen a lot of rocks in the solar system. But every now and then you stumble across a plastic bottle. And this one looks like potentially a message in a bottle. It's the first object that we discovered from outside the solar system. And it doesn't look like a comet or an asteroid that we have seen before. Uh, it has a, a flat geometry, most likely pancake shape. Uh, and uh, also it exhibits an extra push away from the sun that uh, could be due to the reflection of sunlight. And uh, we have seen one such object that reflects sunlight and gets uh, pushed without a cometary tail. Uh, and it turned out to be a rocket booster uh, from uh, 1966. So this one could be artificially made, uh, but uh, definitely not by us because it's moving much too fast and uh, was potentially produced by another civilization. Is your hypothesis uh, accepted by a majority of your colleagues? Not at all. Uh, yeah. there, is a, there is a pushback uh, against the discussion even. There is a taboo on discussing mm -hmm. a possible artificial origin. And that uh, I find unacceptable because uh, we know that half of all the sun-like stars have a planet the size of the Earth roughly at the same separation. And so if you repeat the same circumstances, you should get similar outcomes. We should not be special. And the only question is, are we the smartest kid on the block, in my mind? So does this go back to, was it 2017 in Hawaii, you witnessed something firsthand? Well, it was not me, it was uh, a telescope surveying the sky for uh, asteroids that may come close to Earth. And by chance, they found this object, the first one that we discovered from outside the solar system. And then it showed all these anomalies that, that do not look like anything we have seen before. Mm. Even uh, astronomers that try to explain it from a natural origin have to contemplate something that we have never seen before, like a, a hydrogen iceberg or a collection of dust particles, things that do not really have uh, sufficient integrity to hold on uh, for millions of years through interstellar space. So that led me to propose that perhaps it's of artificial origin. Um, but isn't it a decent argument to say even on our own planet, we are constantly discovering things that we didn't know existed, a new species or, or, or something of that nature. Yeah, so in fact, uh, uh, it's possible. I mean, in the past, we've searched for radio signals from other civilizations and didn't get any message. But uh, it's also possible that they are not around anymore, that they are dead by now. And you need a, a, a live transmitter uh, to get something. And uh, in on Earth, we also had cultures that uh, died by now, but we find evidence for them mm. from relics they left behind in archaeological digs. So we can, in principle, uh, do space archaeology. And hmm. uh, one way to find evidence for them would be all the space trash that they left behind. We sent uh, Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and the uh, New Horizons. And we, are, we keep sending out this uh, trash into space. and. Uh, it's quite possible that there is uh, something to be found out there. Most people say, you know, it, with all of these cameras out there and technology, why can't we get a decent picture of anything of but, an of of an alien or a, a plant? You know, something we haven't seen. So, what do you what do you say to people that say that to you? Well, uh, this object was roughly the size of a football field, a few hundred feet, and uh, it was just too small for our telescopes to resolve, to take a photograph. But uh, 
the uh, science is about uh, reproducible results and evidence and so uh, in the future we may find many more of the same there is no reason why not uh, there, there is it's very unlikely that that we just happen to find the only object that is out there and so uh, once we find another one that is approaching us instead of receding away from us uh, we can send a camera that will fly by and take a close-up photo and that you know a photo is worth a thousand words and so uh, my book uh, that comes out tomorrow is basically an alert to uh, the community to pay attention to all the objects that enter the solar system and perhaps take a photograph. Hmm. And, and, and so is that the reason why it's taboo is because you get the conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theorists, UFO, Area 51, all that stuff makes scientists afraid of getting into this conversation? Well, that's part of uh, the reason, but also, you know, in, in astronomy in the past, we focused on physical objects, but not on the possibility that we might not be the only kid on the block, you know, and, yeah. and, and I think it's about time to change that misconception. Uh, the other thing is, you know, in the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, uh, people used to argue that uh, the human body should not be dissected because it has some magical powers, it has a soul. Yeah. So imagine if scientists were to say, oh, there is so much nonsense being said about the human body, we should not touch it. Uh, where would modern medicine be? Uh, science is about collecting evidence, collecting data, if we, we are able to do that with the scientific instruments. And I think it's the mindset that prevents the current scientific community from approaching this question, of, are we alone, which is extremely interesting to the public. And the public funds science. Yeah. So uh, in my view, science should not shy away from that mm. question. Well, it's fascinating conversation. The book is Extraterrestrial, the first sign of intelligent life beyond Earth. You can get more information at Avi Loeb's Harvard page. The address is on your screen. Avi, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Thank you.